welcome. In this tutorial we will learn how to transform an audio file to MIDI notes. The accuracy of the notes will depend largely on the quality and clarity of the audio source. First of all, we need the audio source. You can record it inside Cubase, or just get an external audio file. In this case, I import one that already had recorded. Now, we've got our audio file. Move it wherever you want. This blue rectangle is the timeline, and has two markers, one in the beginning and other at the end. It's usually used to limit the start and ending of the song and export it, or to create loops for editing purposes. You can adjust the start marker by holding the control key, plus left click on the mouse, and the end marker by holding alt key, plus left click on the mouse. This violet icon is used to create loops using the start and end markers that we just moved. I've turned off, but you do not have to do it, if you don't want. Let's listen to the file. Now, we double click on the audio clip. The sample editor will appear. We go to the Vari Audio tab. Then to reset. And finally reanalyze audio. We will get something like this, is the interpretation that Cubase gives to the bendings and notes of the guitar sound. To convert this into MIDI we need to click on this icon with a triangle inside. In this window you can choose the pitch mode. Just notes, or notes plus pitch bend data which in the case of guitars will be the bendings. In addition we can choose if we want to get the volume of every note, or just the same for all of it. Now we've got our MIDI file, we can export it to your favorite audio software or just continue composing in Cubase. To create a synthetizer, we press right mouse button here, and then select add instrument track. For demonstration purposes we select one of the many presets that comes with Cubase. Let's try this one. Then we drag the audio clip to our new track. Click on the S icon, which isolate this track. As you can hear, it's not perfect, but can be a very useful tool in order to save hours of work. Now it's totally editable. You can delete the other tracks if you want. and try other presets until you get the one you like. And that's all, thanks for watching.